So I'm going to do a simple example of a linear programming problem just to go through the steps with the process and what we're what we want each of these problems to look like. So here's a scenario. Toy company makes cars and boats. Cars take an hour to build and two hours to paint. And each one that gets sold makes a profit of seven dollars. Boats take two hours to build and two hours to paint. They make a profit of five dollars for each one sold each month. The company is limited to 300 available building hours and 400 available painting hours. How many of each toys should they produce to maximize their profit? So, <clears throat> so what we're trying to do here is we want to maximize profit. And profit, we can come up with an equation for that. It would be $5 for each boat plus $7 for each car. So this is oh, one our objective function. Or so this is this is what we're trying to do. Okay, we want to maximize our profit. The second thing we're going to do, and I'll do it this fancy way. We want to maximize profit such that, such that, or subject to. Some constraints. So, got an objective function. Now we want to come up with constraints. So, how are we constrained? Well, <clears throat> we've got a building constraint. So, we only have a certain number of hours to uh, to build. So. Two hours for every boat built, plus one hour for every car built. Two. That's got to be less than or equal to 300. So hours for boats plus hours for cars. It's got to be less than or equal to the total hours available. And then in terms of painting, what's our painting constraint? is based on you know, total hours for painting boats, total hours for painting cars. And then we'll add what we'll call a non-negativity constraint. Just meaning B and C are going to be greater than or equal to zero. I'm not going to sell, produce negative cars. I'm not going to produce negative boats. Um, so here are our constraints. Now what we have here is a system of inequalities. And so the third thing we're going to do is come up with a feasible region. Or I'm going to come up with a solution to that um, system of... So the feasible region, I'm just going to, and I'm going to do this roughly as a graph. So I've got boats on this axis, cars on this axis. Um, finding points that make this one true. So if I'm going to find the line <coughs> 2B plus C equals 300. So 2B plus C equals 300. If B equals 0, C will equal 300. And if C equals 0, B will equal 150. So again, I'm not, this isn't great scale or very accurate. 200, 300. So here's 50, 100, 150, 200, 100, 200, 300. So we've got the point B0, C300, and the point B150, C0. So we've got that line. And where the inequality is true, we can take a test point of 0, 0. Is 0 plus 0 less than 300? Yes. So we've got this shaded area in here. Any point in this region makes this 
first equation true. Second equation, 2b plus 2c equals 400. Well, if b equals 0, c equals 200. If c equals 0, b equals 200. So we can plot this point, 0, 200, and 200, 0, and we've got a line, quote unquote, looks like that. And then they intersect here, someplace. All right. And the fusible region for this line is down here again. So our feasible region is anything in here. And with the non-negativity constraint, we're saying B is positive and C is positive. So in here is our feasible region. Okay. Now to figure out <clears throat> where I'm going to maximize profit, we want to investigate corner points. So this point, this point, this point, and this point are the corners of this feasible region. And it's there where the maximum will occur. So we have the point 0, 200. We have the point 150, 0. We've got the point 0, 0. Obviously, this one isn't going to be where the maximum is, because if you make nothing, you're going to make no profit. And then this point here. Well, what's this point here? It's where these two lines intersect. So where 2b plus c equals 300, 2b plus 2c equals 400. And what I'm going to do is, <coughs> here's a system of equations right here, these two. I can solve it. I can subtract the top equation from the bottom equation. So subtracting 2b from 2b gives us 0. Subtracting c from 2c gives us c. Subtracting 300 from 400 gives us 100. So c equals 100. And if c equals 100, b is going to equal 100. Because 2 times 100 plus 100 is 300. 2 times 100 plus 2 times 100 equals 400. So here are our corner points. At one of these points, we are going to have our maximum profit. So let's investigate corner points. So we've got boats, we've got cars, and what's our profit going to be? So if I've got zero boats and 200 cars, or 100 boats, 100 cars, 150 boats, no cars, the profit here will be 7 times C, which is 1,400. If we make all boats, we're going to have 150 times 5, which is 750. And if we make 100 of each, that will be $500 for boats, $700 for cars, which is 1,200. So it looks as if, actually, what they should do with this company is make all cars to maximize profit. So be careful. It's not simply because cars make the most profit that we only produce them. A lot depends on what these numbers end up being, how much you make in terms of profit for each one. So let's say, for example, instead of 5b and 7c, we had 7b and 5c. What's it going to look like down here? So no boats, 200 cars, 100 boats, 100 cars, 150 boats, no cars. So 200 cars would make a profit of 1,000. 150 boats 
would make a profit of 1,050. And then 100 of each would give us 700 for boats, 500 for cars, or 1,200. Okay, so boats have the most profit, but to maximize our profit, we want to build 100 of each. And what ends up happening is what we're doing in these situations is we're trying to maximize, you know, we want to use all the painting, we want to use all the building. If we only choose to make one thing, maybe we're leaving some available painting hours that are going to waste, some available building hours that are going to waste. So it's not necessarily you're going to build everything um, based on which gives you the bigger profit. It's, you know, use, utilizing all of your resources and um, taking into account that profit. So there's a, there's a little linear programming problem for you.